Hello there and welcome to this demo called Monetizing ESM and ISM as Root of Trust. The main focus of this demonstration is uh, on Nokia's recently launched ISM Secure Connect product, which um, helps CSPs and enterprises manage consumer and M2M subscriptions for ESM and ISM enabled devices. It is a product available in software as a service model, but also as uh, on-premise deployment. So let's jump in. The SIM card has evolved quite significantly over the past around two decades. It started with mini SIM, then micro SIM, then nano SIM. But as the world is getting more and more connected, these removable SIMs are no longer the best option. So that's why the embedded SIM was introduced uh, a few years ago and just recently the integrated SIM as well. And as their names imply, the um, eSIM and iSIM get shipped together with the device and provide the flexibility of remote subscription activation. And still to continue on the IoT side, the eSIM enabled drones are especially on the rise and will be in the coming years as well. So there are a number of use cases out there that can really demonstrate the power of eSIM and iSIM when combined with 5G and IoT. So we chose a winter sporting event because it is a great example for connectivity in intense scenarios. And in such cases, the, um, depending on the various device types and their scope, the subscription parameters must be tuned according to the network requirements when it comes to uh, device onboarding. So how can we onboard uh, and manage all these subscriptions, especially when it comes to really a massive amount of devices, like in this case, a temporary event with uh, yeah, full of high-tech solutions and so on. So this is where the Nokia iSIM Secure Connect product comes in. It allows CSPs to really streamline the entire lifecycle management process, with also the aim to support the on-the-fly profile generation via pre-built templates by CSPs. And when it comes to um, subscription rollouts and revenue streams, CSPs can monetize the eSIM and iSIM for enterprise IoT by offering the service to them via APIs. So this way, the enterprises can request profile generation and profile download through the API integration on their own dashboard. And that's what we are going to demonstrate now. So really think as network as code principle, the subscription provisioning can be integrated in the enterprise's own workflows. So in this case, the enterprise is called Winter Games Corporation, the event organizers who are responsible for a Winter Games event like this. So the enterprise can set the needed amount of various subscription types that belong to different network slices, associate these to the respective devices, and then download and activate all of these in box. By the way, we are using profiles and subscriptions quite interchangeably uh, throughout the demo, but essentially we mean the same thing. So once this rollout is over, the enterprise can view the list of devices, their statuses, and uh, so on, all of the information that is related to them in their dashboard. So in case of any failures with device subscriptions, the iSIM Secure Connect has capabilities to solve uh, such problems. And to demonstrate it, um, here we give an example with the steps, which are the following ones. So first of all, we receive a failure notification in iSIM Secure Connect while the M2M device uh, switches to the bootstrap profile and keeps on working. After identifying the uh, actual problem, which in this case is the permanent loss of connectivity, we solve the problem um, by removing the inactive profile and then re-download and activate the new subscription profile on the device. So that's one example of uh, quick troubleshooting. And we can see on the dashboard that the problem with the uh, broadcasting uh, screen is now solved. Now, when it comes to potential cyber attacks, what we do, we rely on the overarching security monitoring through pre-integrations with Nokia Cybersecurity Dome. So this Cybersecurity Dome can monitor the overall API usage of ECMIC management, for example, but it can also continuously search for any um, hacker attacks. So to give an example, 
if a set of devices, in this case drones, become target for hackers, the cybersecurity DOM can trigger an immediate mitigation action in our ISM Secure Connect. And the steps that uh, we do uh, are as follows. We download a temporary slice profile on the drones and switch from the um, operational uh, profiles to the temporary slice profile. Then, after resolving the um, issue, um, we switch back to the operational profile and then reactivate it. So that again was just a quick example of potential remedies that we can do in eSIM and iSIM management as a sort of reaction to trigger uh, to triggers from the security management tools. Right, so in this next use case, um, the focus will be on how eSIM and iSIM can enable a secure machine-to-machine -machine communication between devices. So there are actually real-life examples already out there of how IoT and 5G uh, with eSIM technology can help uh, in reviewing and improving a sport athlete's performance. So sensors built into athletes' bodysuits, for example, are becoming real-time virtual ski coaches, giving accurate and reliable info um, for them to, uh, to do performance evaluation. But in order for such variables to function correctly, they must be pre-provisioned for the uh, local cellular network. So coaches, for example, can request this switch to local uh, networks via their um, virtual coach application, for example, which is built on relations with a global connectivity provider. So here in this app uh, application, they can activate and select a subscription plan, um, which once um, get activated, they allow the connection to the local network, as mentioned, but also trigger the uh, device management and data collection on platforms pa platforms like the Nokia Impact, thanks to pre-integrations with the ISM Secure Connect. Now, the enterprise, the Winter Games Corporation, can essentially view and manage not only the status of various devices in their dashboard, but also information about the uh, eSIM and iSIM subscriptions, uh, various events from device management, uh, all the data that is flowing in from the various devices and sensors, but also have access to security management and threat levels. The drone and um, the various body sensors, sight sensors, or recording the athlete's performance um, and to transfer all this data uh, to various platforms um, like uh, this virtual coach application. So yeah, yet another way to, uh, to monetize the device data. Now the coach and uh, athletes can then review the um, data right away and based on that really work on improving their ski performance in the next run. Right, so we covered the IoT device subscriptions uh, so far. So now in the third use case, we are going to touch on consumer subscriptions. So if they decide to offer a 5G premium event subscription plan to these digital savvy spectators as part of the ticket, the local CSP would need to define the profile template that contains the specific subscription parameters. They will use the ISM Secure Connect to then generate a group of subscription profiles and provision their policies. So when the consumer then buys the event ticket, she sees that it includes um, the 5G subscription plan, which she can activate on site through a generic QR code when she gets there. So she scans that QR code to trigger the uh, subscription download and then activates it, which then allows her to access additional benefits like live HD streaming. In addition, thanks to her dual iSIM device, or dual eSIM device um, for that matter, she can have two subscriptions active at the same time. Um, so this 5G premium event plan uh, that she just uh, activated, but also her home country subscription can stay active. So with that, we've summarized the, the uh, use cases. So in summary, let us just uh, yeah, look at some key takeaways. Firstly, faster device onboarding. 
thanks to all the integrations with uh, different other systems uh, uh, for, for ISIM Secure Connect in this case, all the smooth interoperability testing and the automation that we're building into the product available in um, SaaS model. Uh, secondly, the enhanced device security is another uh, important thing to mention. That's thanks to the GSMA standards compliant management, together with the highly resistant nature of the eSIM and iSIM, which is then enabling um, these technologies to act as root of trust in M2M communications. And thirdly, um, we are supporting new CSP business models to uh, help them monetize the eSIM and iSIM. So like demonstrated, CSPs can, for example, offer remote provisioning of millions of IoT devices as a service uh, through APIs, which are then integrated in enterprises' own workflows. So remember that network as code principle I described earlier. Thank you for watching.